Welcome back to the Ticket Setup Series. In today's session, we're going to finalize the deployment of our Power BI template up to our Power BI workspace and then make it available uh, anywhere, but specifically, we're going to drop it into our Teams area for our services agents to be able to see our Power BI reports. So here we are in Power BI Desktop, and uh, we have the ability to edit this Power BI template however we like. But let's say that we're happy with um, how it's set up. The next step is to actually go and publish um, that uh, Power BI template. So you'll travel up to the publish area here. And when you click publish, if you've made any changes, you'll have to save those. Um, and then you'll be asked uh, where do you want to publish this report. Now, in Power BI, um, you have your My Workspace area, but I've also created a ticket-specific workspace so I can just carve out these types of reports. So I'll select that and then um, publish this up to that area. Once published, we'll get a visual verification that it's done, and then we can go access it in our online Power BI ticket workspace. So I'll travel over there, and here I am in Power BI, and the uh, workspace that I'm going to look at is Ticket. And then those reports just got refreshed and published into my uh, Ticket workspace. We have two files here. One is the actual model that's driving the data. And then the first one is the actual report. So I'll go to the report area. I'll take a look at that. This is going to be a direct reflection of what you had in Power BI Desktop. Um, and once loaded here, you have lots of interesting options here but you also have the ability to make this available um, via a shared link. So what I'll do here is I'll grab um, a link to this Power BI uh, report, and then I can place this link anywhere I want. Um, so I'll copy that out. Now for me, I wanna make this Power BI report available um, in Microsoft Teams. And I wanna do that because we have ticket deployed to the IT team, and I want to make uh, individuals of the IT team be able to report against the different data metrics inside of Power BI. So what I'll do is I'll travel over to Microsoft Teams, I'll go over to my IT team, and I'll add a new tab here. And the tab that I'm going to add is um, a Power BI tab. And when I do that, I'm given an option to save that, which will create that tab. And then I'm given a request to provide a link. That's the link that we grabbed um, from the Power BI workspace. When I add that, that report will then become available to me inside of my Teams area. This message is more of awareness um, of what's gonna happen here. And what's great about this is that once we have this published in our workspace, we can place this data anywhere. We can put it in SharePoint, uh, we can put it inside of Microsoft Teams. We can send it on a on a schedule, email it out. Um, but makes reporting very, very easy by leveraging tickets, Power BI templates, and then publishing them in those workspaces, and then having those travel wherever you want. But for now, I'll go ahead and stop the session. Really appreciate you taking the time. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next one.